Kelsey, welcome back to your 13th installment of LC TV. I'm Kelsey Moore. And I'm Kira Luckett, and today we'll be taking a deeper look into LC's prom, the Muslim Student Association, and a beloved donut shop in the square. current news story, we'll be talking about the mask mandate and the vaccine. Indiana's Governor Eric Holcomb dropped the statewide mask mandate on April 6th. However, the COVID cases have increased by 39%, yet in Northwest Indiana, more than 30% of residents have gotten the initial shot at one of the many vaccine sites, along with many LC students and staff. I got the vaccine uh, for a few reasons. One, I'm an asthmatic, so I'd be scared to get uh, a really bad case of COVID and be hospitalized and stuff like that. And also, like in the summer, I want to travel and not be confined to Indiana. Like I want to go on international vacations and I'll feel a lot safer with the vaccine or having been vaccinated. Um, I got it for, uh, through Purdue University Northwest. Uh, my mom works there and I'm sort of a constituent there because I go through their tutoring programs and I, I visit there frequently. So in addition to my mother being able to get it, I also was able to get the shot as well. I got my vaccine at Community Hospital in Munster. Uh, my parents work at the hospital, so they wanted just me to get it. To start off our episode, we'll be going to Chemstraw 13, Donuts and Comics. What's up, Lake Central? I'm Jenna Giannini. And I'm Greta Siegert. On this week's episode, we're going to be checking out Cosmic Donuts, located in Crown Point, Indiana. Let's check it out. Chemshaw 13 Donuts and Comics is located in the Crown Point Square. They are open 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. every day. Chemshaw Donuts offers gourmet donuts and freshly baked desserts. They also have a large comic book selection and a variety of different Marvel poppets. Come check it out. Wow, that place seems awesome. I'm going to have to go there sometime. Because of the pandemic, prom is a little different this year. Let's take a look. Due to the school closing down from COVID last year, the juniors and seniors didn't get the ideal prom they've always planned on having. The school has offered hosting a prom for strictly just Lake Central seniors. It would be held by the LC football field for the first time ever. Let's see what the seniors think about the school giving them this opportunity to be able to experience a prom. Hi, my name is Joey Mulligan and I'm going to prom. I have a date, his name is Jack Fiorio. Um, I'm excited to go with him because he's my really good friend and he's taller than me. I got a dress already from White Iris. It's purple and white and it has flowers on it and it's really pretty and puffy. And I'm excited for prom because I haven't been to one yet and I never really got to wear like a big dress. And I'm excited to get my makeup done and see what it's like on the football field. My name is Ryan Huppenthal and I am a senior. This year I'm not going to be going to prom. Um, I usually don't go to dances, I've never been a big fan. I've only been to one dance in my uh, high school career. And also because of golf, uh, I might have a tournament that day so it's up in the air so I don't want to commit to something. My name is Kaylee and I'm a senior and I'm excited for prom this year because I've never been before and I do not have a dress yet because I am too picky. Hi, I'm Olivia Guardia and I'm a sophomore. I'm Andrew Gorman and I'm a senior. I'm still going to prom, but afterwards we're going out to dinner. I am happy that I do actually get to go to a prom because I didn't think we were going to be able to. I'm so happy that the seniors get to go to prom, but it is disappointing they can't bring their dates. I'm Rachel Holeschko, I'm a senior. I am going to prom this year. I'm going with a group of friends. My dress is like really long, it's like a light blue and it's really pretty, I love it. I'm so excited and I'm really glad we got a prom this year. My name's Ella, I'm a senior and I'm very excited for prom this year because it's something to look forward to. And I did get my dress from White Iris. It's pink and it has white flowers on it. My name's Kara, I'm a senior. I'm going to prom with a big group of friends and we're gonna meet up with more groups of friends there. Uh, actually, a lot of kids from our English class, we're gonna try to get a big group photo together 
um, my dress. I actually bought it last year for senior, uh, for winter formal, but obviously that got canceled. So it's like long and silver and it's very plain, but it's very me. And we were able to cut excess off and I'm gonna take the excess and make a matching mask with it. So I'll be all matchy matchy. And yeah, I'm just happy I'm able to get a prom, I guess. Hi, my name is Emily Martin and I'm a junior. My name is Emilio Zambrano and I'm a senior. As a junior dating senior, it's obviously not ideal that um, I don't get to go to prom with them, but I'm just happy that they get to have that high school experience, especially since the class last year didn't get to have anything at all and they didn't get to go as juniors. Uh, I plan on going to prom this year as it's, it's an experience that a lot of people really pass out on. Um, I think we're very fortunate that the school provided this opportunity for us to go. As a class of 2020, you really didn't get the opportunity to go last year. Um, I, I think it's going to be a lot of fun, so I suggest you go. Um, even though it's like not ideal that you know you don't get to do it in the, in the high school and don't get to like be as close as to your friends and bring you know like your girlfriends if they're a junior. Um, but I think it's going to be a fun experience, so I suggest you go. I hope all the seniors have fun at prom this year. Now let's take it on over to Sam Cole and Katie for this week's sports update. What's up, Lake Central? I'm Sam Long. And I'm Glenn Thompson. And I'm Katie O'Drobanek, and welcome back to this week's sports update. The baseball team split their last two series with Penn and Valpo. Hunter Snyder had the game-winning hit in the first game versus Valparaiso to push the Indians for the win. Good luck in your next series, boys. Katie and the undefeated girls softball team went down to Carmel High School this weekend and had a great showing. They came home with wins against Cathedral, Avon, and Noblesville. Good luck to the girls as they continue their season. The boys track team lost their last meet against Maryville, but they look to get back on track with their meet against Portage next week. In their last meet, the girls track team beat Crown Point and Maryville. This upcoming week, on Tuesday, they have a home meet against Portage. Come out and support the girls. Our girls tennis team won their past two matches against Maryville and Portage. The girls won both matches with a score of 5-0. Great job girls and keep the wins coming. Our boys golf team won the Marquette Open and placed sixth in the Midwest Classic this past weekend. We'd also like to congratulate Ryan Huffenthal as he shot a career low of 75 and placing the top eight golfers in the tournament. Good luck to Ryan and the rest of the boys as they continue their season. Two weeks ago, our Central Let's Dance team traveled down to Orlando, Florida to compete in the NDA National Championships. The girls were crowned national champions for their palm routine and also were crowned runner-up for their jazz and hip-hop routine. Great season, girls. That's it for this week's Sports Update, I'll see. I'm Katie Odrovanak. And Coach Thompson. And I'm Sam Long, and we'll see you next time. Thanks, guys, for the update. Let's take a look at this year's choir and their preparations for the spring concert.
brain break to have, especially if you're taking a lot of harder classes. I made a lot of new friends and got close to a lot of really cool people and at the same time learned some really cool stuff like I could never play handbells and I could play handbells which is pretty cool. Well, my favorite concert is probably the spring concert because we're singing a lot of fun songs and we like express ourselves more. fun because we get to vote on all of our songs and we get to pick the theme for the concert and it's all very much like kind of run by us because we get to make up the dances and the instruments and things like that. It's pretty cool. It has really fun dances and stuff in it. It's just, it's, it's really, it's the best concert. It's so fun. I like the spring concert because we don't have to wear robes. Why'd you stop? <laughs>
so yeah, it's fun. pizzas look great. Congrats green team on the win. Hey Kira, what's for a TikTok trend? Probably the one where people are laying on doors. That's really weird. Let's go see what other people's are. Hi, my name is Andrew Gorman and my favorite TikTok trend is the sunglasses and scarf trend with the song Please Don't Go. My name is Miles Yekage and my favorite TikTok trend is it's busted. <laughs> Grandma, how's that brunch? It is busting, respectively. <laughs> How about you, Grandpa? Yeah! Uh, my name is Colin Crimmins, and my favorite new TikTok trend is the inverted filter, because I think it's funny. I know you're somewhere out there, somewhere far away. I want Hi, my name is Shelby Nathanside, and my favorite TikTok trend is R.I.P. the A. Getting ripped tonight! R.I.P. the A. I'm getting ripped tonight! R.I.P. the A. I'm getting ripped tonight! R.I.P. the A. Hi, my name is Ethan Snodgrass, and my favorite TikTok trend is Nature Cereal by Lizzo. Yeah, you got that yummy, yum, the yummy, yum, the yummy, yum. Can you stay flexing on me? Chew it, chew it. Hi, my name is Melanie Sakura, and my favorite TikTok trend is probably the one when they hang on the doors. Give me my lady on. Who knew there were so many TikTok trends? In the spirit of Ramadan, we want to highlight an unfamiliar club. Students Association. My students and I, we created this group because um, the Muslim body has, our student body has become uh, bigger compared to previous years and um, we thought it would be nice for them to have a club where, um, or a group I guess it's considered, where they could come and get to know each other and um, get to know themselves as, you know, just individuals or as Muslims. And um, we also, it, even though this is, it's the Muslim Students Association, it's um, inclusive to anybody who is Muslim or is not Muslim. Because I think it's also, um, living in our country and with it so many different people, it's important for us to get to know each other and to, you know, learn similarities and, and you know, understand the differences with each other. So that was our intention and we hope to grow bigger and you know and be able to do a lot more activities where things that like would introduce who we are culturally and you know religiously and then also um, involve like get involved with like community service outside of the school and then within the school with other clubs that's what we hope to do is to have a big part in those type of things also. So Ramadan is a time for spiritual growth and because we fast from sunrise to sunset, it allows us to empathize a lot more with people who have less than us. The month of Ramadan, it can be 29 to 30 days depending on the moon because we, um, our calendar goes by the lunar, cal it's the lunar calendar 
and um, basically we it, we don't eat or drink smoking or any of that type of stuff is not allowed either um, from dawn which is actually about an hour a little over an hour before sun, sunrise and then to sunset and so um, and then after that under any other hours we're allowed to eat and drink and that's fine so that we do continuously for 29 to 30 days and then at the end of that is where we have the our celebration of completing it which is the three days it's called Eid al-Fitr so for Ramadan, we decided to decorate our classroom, and if you come down to Freshman Center, second floor, we have bulletin boards outside in the hallways that are all decorated for Ramadan. After we're done fasting for the month, we have this large celebration where we meet up with rel relatives. Um, normally, there's a lot of dinner parties uh, and a lot of hugging. This is our first year, and because of COVID, we're kind of limited on how many activities or what it is that we can do. But so far, we've been trying to um, there's been different types of activities that my officers have come up with, um, you know, whether it's, you know, bingo or it's like the rap battle or their uh, different type of icebreakers on just trying to get together and just to get to know each other and kind of um, create this uh, a friendship bond, you know, with each other. So it's, that's been a big part. And then another part that they've started is some of the community service that um, they're planning like that Chicago trip on, on trying to make the care packages for the for the homeless. Um, they're trying to collect donations in general and try to find some charities that they could help support. Um, but so, so far that's where we started out and then as we grow and as time progresses and hopefully COVID is lifted a little, or gets a little better, um, we'll be able to expand on what we want to do. To join, you can um, contact me. Um, you can either come to my classroom, I'm in the Freshman Center, E208, or my email is shakir at lcsemail.com. Or you can follow us on Instagram at Lake Central MSN. Thank you for informing us about Ramadan. Well, that's it for today, LC. I'm Kira Luckett. And I'm Kelsey Moore. Thank you for watching, and be sure to tune in next time.